Okay, YouTube is saying it will stop removing content that falsely claims the 2020 presidential election was stolen. The move reverses a policy put in place more than two years ago amid a wave of misinformation. The Google-owned platform on Friday announced it wants to protect the ability to, quote, openly debate political ideas, even those that are controversial or based on disproven assumptions. I, 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 Why? Don't, I don't get that. Uh, Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to make sure disinformation spreads like wildfire? Help me out here, Rev. Why do you want to be open to that? <laughs> you know, the New York Times, the Washington Post, all these other places would be held liable, well, like Fox News, if they put out false information. And so YouTube is now saying we're cool with false information, um, which, again, I, I, I still I'm just baffled why these big tech companies think that they just, well, they don't think that they don't have to live by the rules that everybody else lives by. They don't have to live by the rules that everybody else has to live by. And that's one of the reason we're in trouble. Our democracy is in trouble. And now you have, again, two years later, you've got YouTube saying, you know what? We're fine with the conspiracy theories that almost took down American democracy. We're fine with the conspiracy theories that led to riots on January the 6th. We're fine with the conspiracy theories that, again, almost destroyed our election because it overturned a fair and free democratic election. I mean, explain this to me, Rev. I don't understand. Well, I wish I could explain it. I mean, it is an outrageous decision. And the timing of it, as we're getting heated up uh, toward an election uh, process and, and the uh, preliminaries starting uh, within days. I mean, you already have candidates announcing every week and now you're going to allow the the open the gates for disinformation i mean didn't we just see fox uh news uh, uh hit with a huge judgment and a huge decision and you're going to go counter that i mean it makes no business sense and it makes no uh sense in terms of the future of of how we have discourse in this country it's an outrageous decision and i hope it's legally challenged by many people so let's uh, get more on this from the co-anchor of CNBC's Squawk Box, Andrew Ross Sork. And Andrew, what's the reasoning I'll give you an explanation, this? I, I can't but make if, sense I, of it. I'll give you an explanation. Um, it may not be rational, or maybe you'll think it's rational. Uh, you may think it's shameful, frankly, which is that you're, we, we are now in this environment where big tech and big companies writ large are so concerned about the regulatory uh, world that they are confronting and, frankly, uh, the House uh, of Representatives that they could be confronting and others that are thinking about regulating them, uh, that this is one way they think to get in their better graces. I don't know if they're going to get in their good graces ever, but th this is as much a political calculation as it is an economic one. The economic one being if there is greater regulation against them, uh, that they're going to have a harder time down the line. And interestingly Wait, enough, so, so, they're so more you're fearful, they're they're more fearful of Republicans. To Republican conspiracy yep. theorists. You're saying that they're doing this because they know that Republicans that might take control of Washington are conspiracy theorists who spread are, lies that that undermine American democracy. They That's are so their fearful. They are so fearful of of of, of this Republican Party. And you can look at um, what Ron DeSantis has done in Florida. I know we, we talk about that, and that's almost become symbolic of the situation. But they are so fearful of that. Plus, I, I think in some cases, a sense um, in parts of the country, unfortunately, who believe uh, some of this misinformation, uh, that their services, therefore, aren't fair more broadly. Now, obviously, I don't think we subscribe to that philosophy, but uh, there are there are a, enough uh, people who have that view, So, unfortunately. And so... I I think that they are unfortunately pandering uh, to both of those perspectives. Now, you mentioned the economic piece. I can't imagine this helps with advertisers. Um, it hasn't helped Elon Musk with advertisers. So it's, it's in that regard, it's very hard to understand how they get to this conclusion.